Hello, and welcome back to the New World Iron Man Challenge. We're on the Fresh Start server. We're in the town of Oxboro, which is in Everfall. It's the capital. Um, we're on the Medea server in American East. And uh, the last video, when I walked into town, it got really... Um, I walked in here, and there were so many quests. I had so much stuff in my uh, the bags. It got, uh, it was a lot of pressure, um, and it wasn't, it, it wasn't smooth. So what, I, what I'll try to do in the future is, um, as I walk up to a town, there's a lot of quests, I'll, I'll basically go in, do that, and maybe do that off camera. We'll try to make that a little smoother as far as the housekeeping goes. Um, so what I did was, I came into this town, and off camera... Let's take a look. There are quite a few quests. There's quests that I didn't necessarily want, but I was taking them, and uh, I I didn't need them. I, I plan to do these later. So uh, there was also quests to get the uh, um, initial musical instruments, and we've got those. Um, but I want to focus on these. There's three of them. There's the the faction quests. There's one here, here, and here. We picked up the Marauder one, and we're going to go do that one right away. Let's find out how do we get out of this town. Looks like we're going to run to the north, and away we go. I'll have to figure out how to do that more smoothly as far as the, the housekeeping type stuff. Um, maybe even the crafting, uh, but, but I want to show the crafting as well. We'll figure it out, or maybe I'll just get better at it. In fact, this used to be a really good place four it's hidden back in there see that can't get to it there used to be some really good i think it was broccoli um oh look at that it popped right up perfect perfect timing we'll take that soul sprout the stuff close to town like this is going to be um picked clean pretty quickly there we go we got another one of those we'll pick this one up the rabbit hopping in the background. What is this little building here? Oh, nice. A forge that it... Well, it doesn't work. We're looking around. I think there was a, a blue note that we should pick up right here as well. Now we got two of the four in that sequence. They might be on the other side over here. Here's a guy playing music. Even uh, yesterday when uh, we were in there and... Oh, there's the music notes. Uh, yesterday when we walked in town, even the, the music was really loud. Uh, from the player's music, not the music of the game. We got number three. I think we need number four. Where are they going to hide? Oh, here's the broccoli that everybody loves. This is a level four or five food, level four. And it helps unlock hearty meals, which is the, the end type meal that you want to shoot for, the big meal. We're going to pick those up, take a quick look at our map. We're going to knock that and get the credit for visiting that. And then we're going to head right over here. You, the reward for this first quest is really good. It actually gives us a ring. We don't even have a ring. The um, Another thing I, I, I was thinking about, the light armor and rolling. I've decided because when I'm trying to make these videos, I'm trying to talk and look around and everything. When you're rolling, you want to roll and use your stamina there at the bottom correctly but if you use it too fast and what it does is it pretty much distracts me yes you can roll a little bit faster but um i'm gonna throw in the towel and go back to what i what i um what i really enjoy and that was the uh there's a life bloom i didn't know which which side it was on the uh the heavy armor the heavy armor is going to allow us to take a lot more damage um oh and he wanted that got it right before you did and it looks like there's another something indicated on our map right up here. But that has been picked. Now we're at the Lupus Landmark. We're going to run right past these guys. They're level 18. We're level 22. We'll take this note. And I put it on the screen for a second if you'd like to pause the video there. Um, the timestamps. Oh boy. This is an interesting fight. We'll put our... Uh, Berserk mode on. 
Very nice. Um, the timestamps have now loaded in on episode four, and they should be on episode five as well. Well, we'll just take that. If that one doesn't want to wake up, a blessed vial of water. Do we need that for a uh, quest? We'll take a look. Should be right here. Oh, it's a crafting mod. And it adds arcane to bounce. And I, I, I just wasn't re impressed with the uh, impressed with those chaining modifications. Another thing we're going to do real quick, go into settings, audio. There's something specific to combat. Should be. Let's find out. Hmm. Oh, looks like I'm. It's picking up. The scrolling is picking up the change of weapons. UI volume, sound effects volumes. We'll turn that down a little bit. The voice is high for the for the vocals, and it looks like we should be in better shape. Music is down. I just turned down maybe the UI. I don't know if that'll help. I'll have to test that later. An ancient device. Oh, well, that's interesting. Awakened. Oh, and another one. Seems to be a little bit quieter. The, um... Oh, and a, and a thing popped up there. Maybe that was something we were supposed to look at. I don't know. We'll look at our map real quick. But we got credit for uncovering that point of interest, the little question mark. And we're going to head towards that next. Might be something I'm missing here. Oh, what? That little blight root grows up here. Not a lot of people climb up here and grab this. Can we pick it before he hits us? Yes, we can. We'll do the overhand swing. My health is going down. Oh, and they gave us a great sword. We might as well look at it. Ranger should, should, should be dexterity. And it is. We're going to get rid of it. This was the music uh, right here. This is the music we got in town for going around and finding all the different musical instruments that are down here. We don't have them. That was just like test ones that they gave us. We're going to open this up. Looks like our, we get a flute. That gives us a second chance so you can miss the first notes and more experience. Not problem. We'll go like that. We've learned that song. And we're going to equip this. It just wants to, to confirm it, because once you do that, then I think it's bound to you. Yeah, so that's bound, and then I can't sell it to other players. Hmm. Wait, oh, we're going to take a peek down there. Is it there? We'll just drop it down and see. Is guarded by a deadly wolf. I, I'm not sure if I can track iron ore. To find out, we go in here. Go into our trade skills. Mining. Tracked at 25. We can track iron ore now. So at the top, I can kind of just kind of look like that. And to the top, and it'll, if it's close enough to us, it'll show up. But it wouldn't show up if it's way over there. Be nice if that was a little bit more expanded. Is that a honey tree? Don't think so. There'd be bees buzzing around it. And we can just sprint along. I think I actually fixed the, uh, made this more smooth where I can just get rid of my user interface. The UI is gone. It's back. I can zoom in and zoom out with the mouse as well. Oh, and look at that. There I was talking about the UI. And at the top, you can see the little two nuggets by the end up there. That was nice. We're going to need a lot of iron ore. And I actually, I, I really do love the uh, Iron Man challenges. Um, they're a lot of fun. I've done them in other games as well. I've done them in uh, World of Warcraft. I've done them in Path of Exiles. Path of, uh, I've also done the, um, and I might do it, is a uh, free-to-play challenge where um, you, you join a game and you see how far you can actually get just doing the free-to-play, no purchasing. Path of Exiles, um, 
is a little tough, but uh, you can do it without buying stashes. It's it's tough, <laughs> but it's doable. As soon as I saw these purple things, um, I had to go grab it. Oh, looks like this is part of our quest, and if it highlights up there in the top right, it says slay the law. Oh, and it is. So we just got one of the things we needed. Not a problem. Looking around for things to pick up. I'm going to pick this up before I regret it. Regret missing it. Because we can make things that, uh, like honing stones and other potions that are important or will be important to us. That'll make us, uh, like a honing stone. You can make, I believe, at the weaponsmith. It helps your weapon sk uh, smithing skill. But then it adds a 5%, 6%, 7%, 8% damage to your weapon. And that can add up uh, pretty quick. You put a coating on there as well, and all of a sudden, you're up to... Let's do that fight. There we go. What we'll do is, I'm going to try something, a setting. Audio. We're going to turn it down just a hair more. How about that? The uh, the honing stone. Oh my gosh. With a coating on your weapon will boost oh, close to 20% then. And that's what we're going to end up losing in damage with the movement from um, light to heavy armor. Well, this guy's very excited about being in here. And now he's outside. He's probably looking around for things that are uh, are growing out there. Let's go find out real quick. Well, we should pick that up. We're going to run out there and find out what's going on out here. Is there anything we should pick up besides this bro? Oh, look at that. I'll sprint over there. And there's some... Um... I know all this stuff is going to be here for us. That guy probably doesn't want the... Uh the uh le the broccoli although i i need lots of it it'll make a uh, it'll make us get to the unlock that next uh food tier really quick but they do everybody does want and competes over these so we've done it we're at the location where we're supposed to be and we're going to pick up this travel shrine as well not that we need it right now, but we're going to need it later. And it's the best thing when uh, you need a travel shrine. Nice. Oh. Hmm. I wasn't paying attention very well there. He's, he's stunned me twice. I really don't want to die here. I'm going to run away a little bit. That's kind of ridiculous. I've used my Berserker mode. That's going to heal me in a little bit. I dodged that guy. I dodged that hit. And I'm kind of just killing some time here. Because then we're going to let him hit us one more time. We're going to use a potion. Block again. And then we're going to do this. Oh, ah, these aren't just regular creatures here. They have the, um, look, their, their icons were a little more, um, almost like an elite creature. <laughs> here I was talking away, and <laughs> I, I noticed my health was quite low. Um, going to heavy armor is going to make, uh, make these fights when you're solo like this, um, a lot smoother as well. Light armor. Just like when I walk up to those archers and the archers get taken out quite quickly. Well, if all of a sudden I'm not paying attention perfectly. Oh, there's a guy in red. We're going to see if we can take this carrot before he can do it. Oh, he missed. That guy's doing some heavy damage with that void gauntlet. Oh, I didn't get credit? Not. Oh, look at these guys. Just begging to be taken out. Oh, and it looks like I've got all ten 
of the items that I needed. Now the great sword, it's really nice that uh, we'll pick up that. The great sword is nice um, for those sweeping attacks that can hit big groups, kind of like an AOE attack. We're gonna see if we can climb over this and hop down in here. I think we've pretty much emptied our uh, our backpack satchel, so we're gonna grab a, just a couple trees real quick here. And on our list of things to do still, although I haven't been in town much, I just, in and, in and out of town, is to make iron tools. We might even skip ahead, or I don't think we'll be able to, um, to steel tools. But that'll make the, uh, the harvesting much quicker. Talk, uh, we have to talk to Lieutenant Gibbs. We're just going to take these three out. It would, it would be nice if I got... Some more skill points to use with the great sword as well. There's a um, there's a skill on the offensive offensive side that um, if you get a I believe if you get a critical hit with the sword, you end up healing yourself for as you hit more times. So it kind of puts you in a mode where your your hits are actually helping heal you, and that would have helped us that fight back over there see these there's nothing special about their their name plate above oh it's a little special got the fire on there i'm not i'm not sure why that changed i'll have to take a look at that i never really paid attention i know the elites one elite ones look different away we go um wants us to go up here but I want to finish this house. I ran out of that house to go grab the things that we needed to grab. Oh, oh, very nice. Come on, can I sneak in here? Because I'm level 22, I was able to sneak past all those guys. There's broccoli, and we're going to need a ton of it. But I have to fight these guys for it. Can I hop over here? Yes, I can. They're going to notice me. That one's trying to eat the broccoli before I get to it. Oh, wow. That was just destruction. I have my food buff going. Oh, and he kind of wandered away from it. Perfect. I don't want to necessarily fight him. Although we might be close to a... Um, oh, this guy's got a shield, but there's the uh, that spawn back up. That's good that we got that opener in the back. Nice. We just follow up with that, and we're in offensive modes with the watch it'll switch back out the crosshair in the middle boom now it's back to normal we're gonna run over here and grab this i think we already did once already oh and another one well, these are the spawn rate of these are just really fast and again there'll be timestamps at the bottom so there'll probably be one of you know this quest and then say turn in the quest down below oh you gotta be kidding me didn't we just farm that but there we go that's the that's helping to show the power of the great sword and it just keeps getting better and better and now i see one way over there but we're not going to run over there and take it even though it's very tempting so we're going to go in here i think there's something up there that we did not come and get yeah oh this is worth it now he's blocking most of my attacks there, and he stunned me. He stunned me? Oh. He stunned me with the, um, right when I was doing my cross cut. And then as we improve that ability, we won't be able to get stunned. And also at level, uh, when you have 300 strength, you won't be able to necessarily get stunned. You'll be adding grit to your um, swings, which allows you to get through those daggers or stuns and we're going to run right up here and at the top of the map i don't want to fight those guys but what we could do it's a nice uh a nice little technique you kind of run around we'll do the opening hand hopefully that guy will move in and there we got 78 great sword uh we got 78 experience and great sword experience as well 
So if they're tight like that, nothing wrong with just running up, grab them. Oh, there's a sheep that wants to attack me. Oh, no, I saw him. He was actually sneaking up on me. And there's another one. Oh, those are those air for air moats. Are, are they right up there? They are. Can we get up this? Oh, this is the, the marauder. Uh, come on. Shh. The wolf wants to fight me. We'll grab that potion. We'll skin this wolf and grab the shock bulb. The shock bulb drops air motes, which can be turned into air wisps. And we got a shock bulb leaf. Let's take a look at that. I've, I never really bothered to before. But again, we're just taking our time. No rush. Where to go? Right here. If you sort it by this way, the, the thing you find most recently will be right at the top of that section. Got a lot of the soul modes. That's great, actually. And this one. It's a reagent. It's an offensive reagent. Tier 3. Nothing wrong with that. And away we go. Everfall, we had uh, a travel point found. We didn't... Wow, it, so it unlocked. We didn't have to run all the way up there. This is the Marauder Enclave. Very nice. Get rid of the UI. We'll walk up slowly. This is our... Uh, the Marauder... This is the Hangout, I believe. This is our... Uh, worldwide Hangout. Kind of our... Neat place to go. Guess we can fight in here. It's a gladiator. We'll talk to him. Warriors must train every day, especially when fighting. Okay, swinging at air. Somebody's level 45 already. And um, the, the thing is with this, I, I want to keep leveling, leveling, and leveling, but I'm recording these, and... Then I jump back out, and then I upload them. It takes, a, a, if it's an hour-long video or half hour, it takes an hour or two hours, depending on the servers, to upload them. And then they got to process into high definition. And then I got to add the, all the descriptions and all that. So I, I don't get to play as much as I want, uh, and I want to play a lot because I love this. It's a lot of fun. Um. I think I already have two more videos ready to be published now. Um, this is uh, episode nine already on the Medea server in American East. So where are we at here? Did I mess something up? Go speak with that guy. See if it highlights him. 30. Did I run by him? He was down lower. No problems. I ran. I was so, uh, I was, I was so uh, interested in seeing what that looked like. <laughs> That looks like a bag of ears to me. You can, uh, and talk to the gladiator. I was so interested in, in literally doing the exploration here that I didn't click the guy. But we've explored it now. Here's the shrine that we can port into and out of. Nice. Uh, and now it did give us the fast travel point activated, but it looked like it was activated before. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I don't know what that person does yet. There's the gladiator. We're going to go talk to them. Oh, you can't hover over them and uh, get them to speak. Tib spoke of you. We marauders are a band of warriors united. Keeping glory and honor. Very nice. And then they want us to run up here. Uh, don't give me that look. No, don't be like oh, that. very, very nice. I put you to a little test, didn't I? Or look, I like you, mate. And I know what Stradia has cooking for the new recruits. And if you... Oh, yeah. No, no. Ooh. Uh, though it is lost. Nice. Again. And we're going to be switching. Here, always a pain in our side. Track some of them down yesterday. Northeast hiding like rats. Fight them, plunder them, burn their claim, and take their boon. Um, this one has a gem spot. And I actually like that gem that's already in there. But you can put different gems in that um, help defensively as well. But this one, this one has seven strength, 
um, 101 physical armor, 152 for, I'm sorry, 152 for physical, 101 there. It has 7 strength, 4 constitution, and the shrieking, the dodging, I really don't dodge too much. I should be dodging more. We're going to accept that, and it's a 7-4. Let's, let's see what that's going to do for us. A lot more armor rating. We're going to lose a little bit of uh, uh, strength, but that's not a problem. And we're going to get rid of this one. And we have a ring. We're going to put that right there. We could put a third thing. We unlocked that at level 15, but we really don't have anything to put in there quite yet. We got a nice piece of music there. See anything that we can really put in? We're going to clean this up. We don't need that. Heavy footwear. 6'4. It's a 281 versus uh, the light. So we're going to switch over to that. And then we can stop caring about, um, oh, you know, oh, we're not above this number, we're below this number, all that kind of stuff. We're just going to go right up to the top, and it won't even matter what we carry then. It's a nice. Uh, it's a nice way out of that. Those are some nice boots. Kind of shiny. What's this? Oh, the light. We're going to get rid of those. Our armor and uh, physical armor and elemental armor defenses have gone up because of that. These are light. We're going to get rid of them. And it's medium. And it says that right on the right-hand side where it says day wear gloves, common, medium. That's what I look for. We're just going to salvage those. We've got well, over 2,000 gold so far, 187 repair parts, and we'll spend some of that to repair the things that we have. We push repair all down there. It's going to cost only 10 coin and 9 repair parts, and everything's repaired then. So, let's take a look here. There's the map. We could actually hop right over there and go back into town, and that's probably what we'll do on the next episode. We're going to go down here and knock this one out and this one out. I think they give us items that we will want. And there's some things that we'll probably end up doing, like a little bit of here. Maybe something like this next. Knock that whole section out. And then we're still going to work as soon, I suspect, as soon as we work our way here, knock that one out. This has the main story quest that we have to also, also do and kind of catch back up to because we're out leveling it a little bit, we're going to run down and get into Windsward. And with that said, that should be a wrap up for the episode. Um, I hope you enjoy them. I really like making them. Uh, they're fun for me. I, I love walking around, looking at everything. There's so much to look at, so much to pick up, so much to do that I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So have a great day. Um, if you if you do like these, uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, push the like button if you like them and comment. I, I, I always respond to the comments. Um, so enjoy. Thanks a lot.